Thank you so much. Um, I uh, first heard of you about a year ago. A beautiful friend of mine who uh, was working with me at the time told me about a little game she was playing that was about spending virtual money. At that time, I didn't have any money, and uh, the idea of spending virtual money seemed really appealing. <laughs> and uh, I started gently um, with a couple of dollars, and I, uh, I was in New Jersey visiting a theater company that I work with there. And then um, a sort of momentum started building in my life. I moved back to uh, England, where I'd been living before, and then opportunities opened up and I moved back to Southern Africa where I'm from, um, where I've come from um, in the last week um, in order to be here. And I just, I just love you. <laughs> I love the moments that I find myself in the middle of a street in Johannesburg where I've been before, remembering all the things I've been through and suddenly just knowing that I have I have a choice. I can, I can choose how this moment will play out internally, no matter what's happening. Um, and that's growing more and more, so I appreciate it. My question is, I am somebody who, um, from the time I was a child, I see, I see visions. I see, well, I saw this, me being here, and me being in the hot seat. I couldn't see the shirt I was wearing, so it took me half an hour to pick the right one. <laughs> and when I finally picked the right one, I was now running late, but I was very happy because I knew that this was the one. Um, but what happens is I see them and then they manifest in their own time. And um, before I didn't know about deliberate creation, and over the last 10 years, slowly I've become aware of it and now have become a part of and have become it's become a part of my life what I now find is some of the visions that I see as big become very frightening because I now think oh but I am the one who creates the reality and oh what does that mean do I and I used to use the word self-sabotage I this phrase I don't anymore because it doesn't help me so I just like well, something. you could say that there's a little bit of a disadvantage into having a glimpse into something when you're not vibrationally up to speed with it. Yes. In other words, our friend would like to have a glimpse into the remedy for her bed bugs yeah. because she feels that it would give her some solace or some reason for more positive expectation. Yes. But if there is a gap between what's in your vortex and what you want and where you are habitually standing vibrationally then that gap frightens you because you don't know how or where or when or who even though you have a vision that shows you a positive outcome because you don't see the steps that lead you to the outcome then it still feels too big and too uncomfortable and we would like to say to you that that is in fact the skill that everyone who wants to be a deliberate creator must foster and accomplish you have to get over that feeling of discomfort in the unobservable or in the inexplainable mm -hmm. you have to find resonance in the laws that you do know and that you have come to trust and in that vibration then all of the details will fill in and as you're discovering more and more they will fill in with ease and as our friend on the skates wants them to fill in with speed in other words it just becomes more and more comfortable as your expectation becomes more and more solid I want to start with something that you said as you began and in this conversation that we will have you're going to find exactly what you're looking for in the broader part of your question you said I began playing a game with some virtual money and we wanted to jump in and say to you, you see what that game did is it caused you to practice a vibration of prosperity. But then we want to add to it what this conversation is bringing to this leading edge discussion, momentum. You can get momentum going as you begin spending vibrational currency. 
you get momentum going that then brings physical currency. Momentum is the primary subject that we want to talk about. Mm. So by your willingness to spend money that you didn't have, but play the game which fostered the feeling, you began garnering vibrational momentum. And once vibrational momentum begins, then you were able to see a vision. Yes. In other words, the vision that occurs to you is just an interpretation of vibration. And it is our promise to you that in the same way that you catch glimpses of that end results, you will begin to catch glimpses of those interim results too. And that really is the fun of deliberate creation. So we want to start again. Contrast causes you to put things in the vortex that for the most part, you're not a vibrational match to because it was a fleeting rocket, but your practiced vibration, we're talking to all of you is usually someplace else. So now you've got this vortex version that you're not up to speed with. And so you've got this grid, this point of attraction, which is as far as you've practiced on that subject that just doesn't measure up to the vortex version. But when you raise the frequency of your day-to-day -day conversation through games like that, or through conversations like this, or through studying and talking about the laws of the universe, the things that you do know, while there are some things that you don't know, you don't know how it's going to happen, but you do have some confidence that it is going to happen. As you begin to prepare your vibrational grid, because you care about how you feel. So you find closer and closer vibrational harmony to what's in the vortex. And then the momentum gets faster and faster so that the where and the who and the how and the when start filling in for you. You begin having these realizations, these realizations, these impulses to act, these impulses to be in a certain place, these impulses to have a conversation about a certain thing with a certain person at a certain time. Oh, we want so much for you to know that everything that you want has been so clearly played out and understood and is so tended to and the cooperative components have already been rallied that when you apply that one missing piece which is a vibration of trust that has no real evidential reason for it it's a law-based reason because you know that you are a vibrational being and you know that law of attraction is responding and you know that you are source energy in a physical body and you know that you've come with great reason and purpose and you know that you've launched rockets of desires and you know that source is on it and you know that things are always working out for you as you know with everything that you are these general things that lay new pipes then every subject that you've ever requested anything about will come into your realization. And that is exactly the way it is supposed to be. This life is supposed to be about you defining what you want and then you getting the fun of watching it fill in. You were never intended by you or anyone else to be deprived for even a moment of what you are wanting. This stalling that you're doing is only about sloppy thinking. It's only about being willing to choose less good feeling discs just because they feel more comfortable to you because you haven't practiced the higher flying discs. That's all. So then all of this knowing is within you and you begin walking into some of the terminology that defines it and you feel this powerful resonance and then you begin applying some of the specifics and the universe gives you specific results in direct relationship to the vibration that you're choosing until before you leave this room today, it's our expectation that every single one of you will know for sure that you've chosen this disc and that it's filling in and nothing else would be more logical, but that you could choose another disc if you wanted to, but it's not a big deal that you don't because the disc that's filling in is giving you information too. We've been saying to all of you for a long time, that what you think and how you feel and what manifests always match. Today, we want to say in addition to that, that what you think and how you feel and what manifests gives you information about the disc you're spinning on. And that momentum is going to become more. And if you like it, keep doing it. And if you don't do something different, yeah. do something different. 
It's so easy to do something different now that you understand how it all works. You see, none of you ever throw something in the air and is surprised when it comes right down. <laughs> I just thought that would keep going because your life experience has shown you how these laws of physics work. And now your life experience has shown you plenty about how this law of attraction works. And when you get in sync with it, and take control of your own vibration you are unstoppable because momentum says you are yeah. but you feel your invincibility you finally feel your true power yeah. you're finally being who you are and now you can get on with your reason for being here yeah. and what is that what's your reason for being here fix things that are broken no yeah. fun joy. you're here joy. you're you're here for the joy yeah. of the new idea to which you are not yet a vibrational match but you have an inkling to know that you could be but you're not and isn't it gonna be fun to become a vibrational match to it and doesn't it feel not good not to be and doesn't it feel better to be and ah doesn't it feel good doesn't it feel good to feel the momentum going ah doesn't it feel great to feel it click into place and then don't you just love the way the grid fills in in confirmation of the new alignment that you just discovered and aren't you eager for new contrast so you can go do that again <laughs> don't you just love getting better and better and better at deliberate creation don't you love being who you were born to be don't you appreciate all of the contrast in all of the variety that surrounds you don't you love all of their weirdness and all of their idiosyncrasies <laughs> and all of their offnesses don't you just appreciate so much everything that they yes. all are and don't you love it when it comes into your awareness and you launch a new rocket of desire don't you love feeling the expansion even though you're not up to speed with it don't you love knowing you've expanded yes. and don't you love even more knowing that you can get up to speed with the expansion and don't you love knowing that when you do get up to speed with the expansion that the having not been up to speed with the expansion is the reason it feels so good to be up to speed <laughs> with the expansion don't you like all of it yes. aren't you gonna be yes. so glad when those bed bugs are gone yes you are yes you are you say. Oh, yes. not if they're gone when they're gone at your hand at your control at your vibrational alignment don't you love bringing your life into alignment isn't that what it's all about and do you really want to just oh that's pretty pleasing more of that please. or do you like having to sharpen yourself do you like knowing that this thought doesn't serve you and that this thought does do you like coming into your power and your clarity and don't you want others to know about it too and can you teach other than through the clarity of your example and that's been my biggest lesson my biggest lesson has been and wonderful because my family and there's there's a lot of them extended family and I I always found billions that, yes <laughs> yes indeed um, and I always found that the breaks that I thought were in me were really I was putting them I, I can't even say this but I was using them to put breaks on myself yeah. I was using them to put breaks on myself and yeah. now I am more and more appreciating the different variety of contrast that they give. And I think that's why I've moved back home because when I was in England, they were far away. It was a bit easier. And when I came to spend time in America, they were even further away. It was a bit easier. Now they're right there. Yeah. And every time, every time something happens, I, it was something in the recording I heard when you equated the law of attraction to the law of gravity. It was just, it, it stunned me for days. And now... I, it's probably just, why we did it to you again just now. <laughs> and that, yeah, absolutely. We've only yeah. done it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really good. Thank you yeah. so much. <laughs>